it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Naderland, Texas, and today we have a fun video for you. Now, I was going to do a tutorial today, but I decided to change my mind and I'm going to do this tutorial on Friday. And Wednesday, the 16th, will be our Patreon tutorial. Just so y'all know, things have gotten swapped around a little bit because Tuesday is the 15th and we're doing a live. And I would typically still do the Patreon video then, but... With Christmas coming up, you know, mama's a little bit busy. So I figured y'all always enjoy when I kind of give you like a heads up on what projects and stuff that I'm looking at doing for Craftsmas. So I went to Hobby Lobby and Target. So I wanted to show you some of the things that I purchased. I also have a large Amazon craft order coming in. So I'll do that on another day. But to kind of show you some of the things we're looking at using for Craftsmas. Now, the first thing I bought, and I love this thing, is from Hobby Lobby. Look how cute that is. It is a massive pumpkin rug. And I thought he was cute, but I thought he needed something extra to him. And he regularly is $19.99. And y'all know the way that Hobby Lobby does stuff is like all their fall stuff is already 40% off. So I think he was like 12 bucks. So for $12 and he is thick. So I figured he'd be something fun to add some paint to. So we got the massive pumpkin rug. And I like the backing on it. Like this backing on here is really good thick rubber. So I'm hoping that it will hold up really well. We shall see what we shall see. And now I got rug guts all over me. Rug guts. So I didn't buy a whole lot at Target. Our Target bullseye spot was like massively picked over. So I only got a couple of things, but they were super cute. So the first thing I bought were these little palette signs and it was $5 for two of them. So if you look on the inside, there's actually a small one and a larger one. And I loved the color of this, this ashy brown color. I thought, I don't know what's going on it yet, but something is because those are super cute. And again, they were $5. Then, you know me, I love witches and cauldrons and stuff like that, especially during Halloween time. This little mini cauldron was $3 from the bullseye spot. And I wanna put something on it. I just love the shape of it. It's nice and well made. It'll make an adorable little candy dish for this time of year. So we're gonna see what we can put on it. Next up from Hobby Lobby, I purchased two of the pillow inserts. Now y'all know, or may or may not know, I like doing decorative pillows and stuff like that for Christmas and all the year, throughout the year. Well, part of the problem that I've had with it is how do you store all the pillows whenever they're not inserts? So I decided to purchase two of the inserts and these were $9 or $8.99 each. I used a 40% off coupon, mine on one of them, the other one I paid full price for because these weren't on sale. But. I like the idea of using these and then just buying covers because I can order covers and stuff real cheap off of Amazon too. So that way I don't have to constantly store throw pillows because I don't know about y'all, but like I have <laughs> way, way too many pillows too many pillows. Like we have Christmas pillows and Halloween pillows and Thanksgiving pillows and Valentine's pillows. And I do them all throughout the year. So I love pillows, but storing them is horrendous. Like it is so hard to do. So I was like, well, maybe we'll start doing this and that might save me some space because I'm running out of room to store stuff. And if you catch me looking down, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to look at the lens, but I just got a new monitor set up so to see where I'm at and what's on screen. So it is very difficult to keep looking at the lens whenever like I'm right here. Even though I don't like to look at myself, you know what I mean? But you know, it is what it is. Then I also picked up from the fall area, this table runner. I cannot wait to personalize this. And it was $15.99, 40% off. And I love the colors of the embroidery on here. 
So I don't know what's going on it yet, but something cute is gonna be on this runner. So just wait. And I love doing runners too. But see, this is easy to store. A bajillion pillows that thick are not. Y'all see I'm a little bit frustrated with pillows. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, so the only glass thing I got from Hobby Lobby this time was, oh, they're giving away these things too to give away. It's a free card, add your own style and just mail it to someone. It's like a sending a little happy thoughts on your, its way. So I thought that was super cute that they were giving those out. So uh, that's adorable. So then I got this jar. Cause y'all know, I love glassware. I love decorating it. And I really like the shape of this. Like, I'm not sure why. And I, I mean, like I'm weird about stuff like that. Like shapes of stuff really are what draw me into it. And I like that it seals well, you know. We love a jar that seals well. And this was 50% off this week, and it was regularly $8.99, so I paid $4.50 for it. So again, that's a good, cheap, easy project to decorate. Then we got a few more things, not much. I picked up some of the Master's Touch Fine Art Canvas panels for $4.50, again, because these were 50% off. I love, the, got makeup on it, decorating these. These are great to be able to stick in frames. And again, because these are thin, you can make these for seasons and just pop them out and change them out. And it's easy to store. So you can make a whole bunch of these and there are five of them in here. So they're less than a dollar each. So oh, that ain't bad. Then I also picked up two for the pillows to go in, which I'll honestly say kind of perturbed me because those pillows are 16 by 16. These hold a 17 and a half by 17 and a half inch pillow, which was looking for an 18 inch pillow. But Hobby Lobby was eight out of 18 inch pillow square. So I was like, well, we'll just do this. So I got these, which these were 50% off and they're regularly $10.99. So they were $5.50 to decorate. And they're a good gray color. So I like them and I like the thickness of the fabric. It is a nice, good woven fabric that is polyester. So we can heat all day long on polyester. So, and I love the color of these. So I picked those up. And then last but not least, because y'all know the Buffalo plaid spirit has not died. It has just moved over to black and white. I've really been into black and white Buffalo check like nobody's business love it so i picked up the robert stanley signature collection set of four 18 by 18 inch napkins buffalo plaid black and white super cute these were 40 percent off so it was six dollars for four of them they are nice and thick they are 48 percent polyester 48 or 48% cotton, 45% polyester and 7% rayon. So these should be fine to iron on as well. So that is my haul from Target and Hobby Lobby. So this kind of gives you an idea of the things that we're going to do. And trust me, my Amazon haul is so much better. I bought so many things. It's not even funny. Y'all are going to love them or at least I hope y'all do. Uh, I'm getting so excited for Christmas. You know, Christmas is one of my favorite times of year. And if you're not familiar with what Christmas is, let's go ahead and talk about it for a second. So Christmas is, we start October the 1st. So we do Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, gift ideas, wedding gift ideas, all kinds of ideas for craft projects that are simple, easy, cheap to create yourself. So we like to play around with it, as you can see. So hopefully you like this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which for most of the years, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do lives on Tuesdays and sometimes on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And, but Christmas, we will post every single day of the week, except for Saturday and Sunday. Typically I do seven days a week, but this year we're only gonna do five and we will still do lives on Tuesdays. So 
I guess that's it. So we shall see y'all uh, tomorrow for 5 p.m. live. Bye.